When it comes to electrical wiring, one of the most common decisions people face, whether you're a homeowner, a DIYer, or even an electrician, is whether to use stranded or solid wire. At a glance, it might not seem like a big deal. Wire is wire, right? But once you start digging into the details, you'll realize that choosing between stranded and solid wire can actually have a huge impact on the performance, durability, and ease of installation for your project. So in today's video, we're going to break down everything you need to know about stranded versus solid wire, what they are, how they're made, where they're used, and the pros and cons of each. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of which type of wire is best for your specific situation, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start by defining what exactly these two types of wires are. Solid wire, just like the name implies, is a single solid strand of conductive material, usually copper. It's simple, it's uniform, and it's been the go-to choice for many electrical installations, especially in residential wiring. On the other hand, stranded wire is made up of multiple smaller strands of wire twisted together to form one larger conductor. From the outside, stranded and solid wire might look similar, especially once they're covered in insulation. But structurally, they're quite different. And that difference in structure plays a major role in how each type performs in various conditions. Now, one of the first things to consider is flexibility. This is where stranded wire really shines. Because it's made of many smaller strands, it's much more flexible than solid wire. That makes it ideal for situations where the wire needs to be routed around tight corners or where it might be subject to frequent movement, like in robotics, automotive wiring, or portable electronics. Try bending solid wire over and over, and you'll eventually see it start to weaken and break. But stranded wire can handle repeated movement without compromising its integrity. This flexibility also makes it easier to pull through conduit or tight spaces, especially when you're dealing with long runs or complex routing. But flexibility isn't everything. When it comes to durability and strength, especially in stationary applications, solid wire takes the crown. It's more resistant to damage and corrosion over time simply because there are fewer surfaces exposed to air and moisture. With stranded wire, each tiny strand is exposed to the environment. And over time, oxidation can sneak in between those strands and degrade the wire more quickly. Solid wire also holds its shape better. Once you bend it into position, it tends to stay put. This makes it perfect for home electrical wiring, especially behind walls, where the wire needs to stay secure and in place for decades. That's why you'll find solid wire used in most residential and commercial building wiring systems. Next, let's talk about electrical performance. Both types of wire conduct electricity just fine, but there are some subtle differences. For example, stranded wire has slightly more resistance than solid wire. That's because the current has to travel through multiple small paths instead of one solid core. The difference is usually negligible for short distances or low current applications, but it can become a factor in high frequency or high power scenarios. Solid wire, being one continuous conductor, offers slightly better conductivity and lower resistance overall. This is especially important for long distance runs or installations where voltage drop could be a concern. If you're wiring up a circuit that's going to carry power a long way, solid wire might be the better choice for efficiency and performance. Now let's touch on installation and cost, two things that often drive decision-making. Solid wire is generally easier to handle when you're pushing it through walls 
or connecting it to outlets and switches. It fits snugly into terminal connections and tends to make better contact, which is especially important for maintaining safe, long-lasting connections. On the flip side, stranded wire can be a bit trickier to work with in certain connectors. It's more prone to fraying, and if you're not using the right tools or terminals, it might not make a solid of a connection. That said, stranded wire does have the edge when it comes to flexibility during installation in tight or curved spaces. As far as cost goes, solid wire usually wins. It's cheaper to manufacture, and that savings typically gets passed on to the consumer. Stranded wire tends to be more expensive, especially in larger gauges, simply because more processing is involved in its production. So if budget is a concern and your project allows for it, solid wire might be the more cost-effective option. Another factor that often gets overlooked is environmental conditions. In areas with a lot of vibration or movement, think vehicles, boats, aircraft, or even some outdoor installations, stranded wire is typically preferred. That's because it's less likely to fatigue and snap over time. But in static environments like inside walls or underground conduit, solid wire tends to hold up better. Also, stranded wire is sometimes coated with tin or other metals to help resist corrosion, especially in marine applications. That adds to the cost, but it makes stranded wire viable in harsher environments where solid wire might corrode faster. So, how do you know which one to choose? Here's a simple way to break it down. If your wiring is going to be stationary, with minimal movement or vibration, and you're working on something like home electrical circuits, outlets, switches, or lighting, solid wire is probably your best bet. It's cheaper, easier to work with in those setups, and provides a stable, long-lasting connection. But if you're wiring up something that's going to move or vibrate, like a car, a boat, a robot arm, or even a speaker system that you're constantly plugging and unplugging, stranded wire is what you want. It's built to move, bend, and flex without wearing out. Ultimately, the choice between stranded and solid wire comes down to your specific needs. There's no one-size-fits-all answer, and that's kind of the beauty of it. Knowing the strengths and weaknesses of each type lets you tailor your wiring choices to your project. Whether you're building a new home, customizing a sound system, or wiring up a robot. So next time you're standing in the electrical aisle, staring at reels of copper, you'll know exactly what to grab. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.